Hey guys, it's me, Mia, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to do a review on Jane Davenport's Glitzy Watercolor Set. And I had gotten this from Michael's some weeks ago. There was a 50% off coupon, and I decided to go for this set. And this is my first Jane Davenport watercolor set ever. Never used it before. But my main reason for getting this is to compare it to my Mungio watercolor set. Now, if you follow me, you know that I did a video a while back about Mungio. I swatched all the colors out, and in the video, I had stated that the same company that makes Mungio, they also create watercolor sets for Prima Marketing, as well as Jane Davenport. So I did swatches, and the colors from Mungio and the Prima Marketing, they're pretty much the same. They're the same. So I wanted to see if it was the case for Jane Davenport, see how it compared to Mungio. So let's get started on the review. First off, I like the box. It's a very pretty turquoise color. It's my favorite color, by the way. So comes with this card. Hello artist, this palette of fine watercolors features two metallic paints and 10 quote unquote glitzy hues and so on and so forth. And these are the colors that I swatched out. And they have interesting names like Water Spirit, uh, Ariel, Enchantress, Sea Noun, Florally, you know, words and names associated with mermaids. So I swatched these colors out and there's one, two, three, four, five greens, two blues that look too, like they look very similar to each other. It's kind of hard to tell if they're two different shades or what. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a glitzy watercolor palette? And if not, what would you put in your own glitzy watercolor palette? So just let me know in the description what you think. So I'm going to set this to the side. So you want to know how does it compare to Mungio? So right here, let me adjust the camera a little bit. So in this column, these are the glitzy watercolors. And this middle column, this is Mungio. So let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see up close. So as you can see, the colors are very similar indeed. However, I noticed that the Mungio watercolors were a little more vibrant than the Glitzy palette. And I noticed the same thing when I was swatching out the colors and comparing them to Prima Marketing. But yeah, just take another look and the colors are pretty much similar. In this section here, I decided to just play around and have some fun. And I did wet on wet and I put two colors together to see how well they mix together. And this one's my favorite. It's the Alchemy, which is a metallic color. It's gold. And I use Ariel with this one to get this effect right here. And all these colors here from the Glitzy palette, they seem warm to me, actually. A lot of greens, a lot of warm colors. I don't get a glitzy or ocean type of vibe from these colors. They're more earthy than anything. Well, at least to me they are. But anyway, I decided I would do some color mixing. So I used Ariel, Tresses, and I believe, yeah, Sina. So I mixed those colors together and I got all these colors here. And I also created some browns as well as some grays. And when I had finished doing all of this, 
I looked at this section right here and I thought to myself, wow, this color palette right here, it looks so familiar. Why does it look so familiar to me? It reminded me of Prima Marketing's Odyssey watercolor palette. So this is Odyssey. And here's the paint swatch that I did. So I wanted to investigate a little bit further. So right here, you see the glitzy column. Here is the Prima Marketing Odyssey colors. And then these are all the color combinations from the glitzy palette that I made to recreate the colors from the Odyssey palette. Now I have to apologize when I was swatching these colors out, I didn't line them up with the colors here. So they were out of order. So I have to swatch out the Odyssey colors again. So that way you guys can see side by side how similar the colors are after you create these mixtures. So let me zoom in. So as you can see, just by doing a color mixing from the Glitzy palette by Jane Davenport, I was able to recreate most of the colors from Prima Marketing's Odyssey watercolor set, except for two. I was unable to recreate Amsterdam and Maui because those colors are very saturated, very bright, very saturated, and I was unable to recreate those. But I was able to recreate everything else. So that's cool. And these are the formulas right here. So yeah. Oh, let me fix the camera. Sorry, guys. Okay. There we go. So, what's the final verdict? Well, the colors are the same. Uh, I, I did find uh, the Mungio watercolors to be more vivid than Jane Davenport's. And as I said before in my Mungio video, if you want decent watercolors and you want to try Prima Marketing, but you don't want to buy all the individual sets, just get Mungio. It'll save you so much money in the long run. You get all these colors. And if there's a color that isn't in here, you can just mix a couple of colors together to get a new one. So, I believe this will be my last Jane Davenport watercolor set. Uh, I just wasn't really too impressed with it. But overall, everything that I need is pretty much right here. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something and that you try mixing up some of these colors and let me know how it turned out for you. But for now, it's time for us to paint something. So let's paint a mermaid using the glitzy palette.